As you look at the Concord, you may wonder, what causes a Concord to roll? Not quite so literally. Well, our journey begins with a unique feature of the Concord, the elevons. These are control surfaces on the wings that serve the dual purpose, providing both roll control and pitch control. They played a crucial role in the Concord's ability to maneuver gracefully at both low and high speeds. These worked like ailerons and elevators on a regular commercial airliner. Now, let's talk about the heart of the Concorde, its engines. The Concorde was powered by four Rolls-Royce Necma Olympus 593 engines, specifically designed for supersonic flight. These powerful engines enabled the Concorde to cruise at an incredible Mach 2, twice the speed of sound. Each engine produced over 32,000 pounds of thrust. To achieve supersonic speed, the Concorde utilized an afterburner or also known as the reheat system. This additional burst of speed during takeoff and the climb to 50,000 feet helped propel the aircraft into supersonic flight. This worked by adding fuel to the exhaust of the engine, which would increase the power by 20%. Yeah. Now, Let's talk about the Concorde's reverse thrust. This resembled the Boeing 737-100's reverse thrust. When the rear buckets closed, the engine's output would be propelled forward, very quickly decelerating the plane. This feature combined with powerful brakes contributed to the Concorde's impressive landing performance. Moving on to the tail gear, the Concorde had a very distinct landing. To slow down its descent rate, it pitched up a lot to gain as much lift as possible. This brought the tail into a danger of tail strike, which could extensively damage the conquer. To solve this problem, engineers added a tail gear at the back of the plane, so that it would absorb the impact of the tail strike. Now, let's focus on the nose of the conquered. One of its most iconic features was ability to droop. This design allowed for improved visibility for pilots during landings and takeoffs. The nose also helped increase aerodynamics and reduce drag when it was put all the way up during the supersonic flight. When it was time to land, the pilots would put the nose down. This way they could see the runway without an obstruction. This would allow for safe landings and smooth landings. Last but not least, let's discuss the delta wing of the Concorde. This distinctive wing shape played a crucial role in the aircraft's supersonic capabilities, reducing drag and providing exceptional lift. When the Concorde pitched up, because of the large surface area, the Concorde gained a lot of lift. And there you have it, a brief exploration of the Concorde's key components. This iconic aircraft will forever hold a special place in aviation history. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and let me know in the comments what aviation topics you'd like to see next. Until then, safe travels and I'll see you in the next video.